Welcome to Hat Chat, where we're talking strictly fitteds, no dad hats or snapbacks. I am your host, Fredo Algebra, aka Fitted Algebra, and welcome to our new format. Today, I'm gonna be going over my top 10 hats for 2022. Let's get it. You know about that muscle bird, Jay's hat, two tone plain Jane, no game patch. My top 10. For 2022, this year was a very, very busy year. A lot of hats came out, a lot of beautiful, gorgeous hats, but I rounded it down to 10 crowns for my personal favorites from this year. So I'm gonna get into it. The first hat is from Hat Club. It's the Ken Griffey. It's a basic blue hat, chunky, chunky gold S, 40th patch, flat batterman, white guts, green UV, just a basic, fundamentally sound hat. Very, very good construction quality. Yeah, man, I mean, those that let this go, because it was sitting for a while, did bad for themselves, man. Very good, that's one. Number two hat. For me, it started all the hype behind the fall colors, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Polly from uh, Collectors of Chicago, out there in the shy, Birdines, you feel me? This is the Ginger Polly Cubs. Came out earlier this year. The Northside Cub patch, you feel me? Russ Orange, brown UV. 1990 all-star game patch flat batty of course white guts green just you can't go wrong man this started it all one of my grails yeah definitely in there number three it's my man joey my man rmdcc ray mundo at a pro image of course with the mf doom mets one of my favorites of his a lot of people would you know go for his twins but this one right here is just very very good green purple that silver new york's the mets 40th anniversary patch basically just goes so accurate with the operation doomsday flat batty black guts gray under can't go wrong man one of the best hats that's three so for my fourth one, we going back to the bay with it. It's also another RMDCC. It's the Larry June. Very peaceful, SF Giants. I love this, it's like a khaki or brown tan crown. Silver SF, the, the soft logo, black outline, black visor, top button black. 1984 All-Star Game patch. Very, very accurate again with the cover, flat batty, and a good derby orange inside gut. You know what I'm saying? for the for the UV, basically says Frisco. I love this hat, can't wait to wear it. One of the bangers from this year. That's four, five. A lot of people were saying that it was one of the hats of the year this year. It's the Hat Club Ox Pack 2.0, Detroit Eminem Encore. Encore, so basically blue top, black bill, that good old English D. 2005 All-Star Game patch, black guts, flat baddie, and the, that good blood, I don't know, man, it's like a blood cardinal red. Freaking amazing hat. So that was five, so my sixth one, this means a lot to me because this was my first hat that came out. Uh, shout out So Fresh, shout out Rax, you feel me? We gonna kill it this year. This is the 1.0 Angry Texan that I designed, the first one of its kind. You see the R and the S color change. Anger is amplified right there. Uh, cowboy hat, Air Force blue bill, uh, Air Force blue crown, red eyelets. Red bill, flat baddie, white guts, green under, all the checkpoints, baby. This one caused a little bit of panic. It has the Arlington Stadium patch. This one was modeled for more Americana look, and it's also the matching patch from the fight. Nolan Ryan and Robbie Ventura. This was started it all for me, so it's definitely gonna be in my top 10. Seven, it made it on a couple of top uh, hats of the month and week. Shout out Hat Crawler. Again, shout out So Fresh. This is the Willy Wonka, AKA Gene Wilder, AKA Beauty and the Beast, Texas Rangers. We have an orchid purple crown, toasted peanut bill, that cream, gold, and russet tea. Very, very pristine. This hat is beautiful. And then Lone Star Patch, flat baddie, white guts, green under. I mean, the Lone Star Patch is just, it looks like a birthday cake on the side. It's amazing. It sparkles, it dances. Definitely top 10, you know what I'm saying? Next, we're gonna get into my fitteds. Shout out John Jay, shout out all the uh, New Jersey heads. This was a very, very good pickup of mine. Uh, this is the Ichiro 2.0. Seattle, very good crown, navy top, ice gray bill, 2001 all-star game patch, sparkling dancing, front logo, it just pops, the gold outline. And then we have the surprising Japan flag for the baddie, and it's amazing, it's just for Ichiro. 
white guts, green under, just fundamental, just amazing clean hat, very good pickup for the, what is that, eighth? Then we gonna go to early, early this year. Very, very slept on crown until now. Now everybody wants one, in my opinion. Uh, John Jay killed it with this one. This is when I was going through my Atlanta phase. I still love Atlanta hats. This is the activist Atlanta. Very bright hat, but as you can see, it's still wearable, you know what I mean? That black A with the wet white outline kind of calms everything down. Purple bill, 2000 All-Star Game patch is one of my favorite patches for Atlanta hats. Flat baddie, then we got that syrup. That syrup UV, white guts. Very good summer hat, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got one of these. We going back to Raymundo. We got the cherry chocolate chip joint from his greatest hits of twins with a chocolate bill, black black top visor, the really, really good red M, you know what I'm saying? Bomba Squad patch going crazy, and flat batty, black guts, and pinky, it's a pinky, you know what I'm saying? Very, very good hat. Couple of honorable mentions, of course. This hat uh, stir up a lot, it's one of my hats also, it's the Frey Wax, shout out So Fresh. Uh, modeled after the AWAX uh, from, Hat, from Hat Club and, you know, Menace to Society. But I did it for the Bay this time, you know what I mean? We, we got the metallic black pearl front raised stitch A's. It looks really good in the, you know what I'm saying? The light, as you can see. We got the fatty baddie on the side. No baddie, of course, on the back. White guts, green under. Stirred up a lot of, a lot of mixed feelings and a lot of emotions, which I like because that means everyone's paying attention. So this gets an honorable mention because people are still posting this and I'm glad I was able to, you know, create this one too. Shout out So Fresh again. And then for the last, not least, people are saying it's the hat of the year. My man Joey again, RMDCC Pro Image, the Biggie Brooklyn. Very good hat, very good hat. We got the chrome, black, black B. Black Bill, Ebbets Field, very, very collectible patch, especially New Yorkers. Flat Batty, Black Guts, Gray Under. Man, this is just very good year, 2022 of hats, man. I'm, I'm very glad to be in the midst of all this, in the mix. I'm very excited to see what 2023 is gonna bring to the hat community. I got a lot of stuff going on. For those of y'all that like the content of Hat Chat, you know what I'm saying, make sure you click the links right here for our previous episodes and get caught up, you know what I'm saying? Because we coming for your helmets this year, you feel me? Hat Chat, we out. Fredo Algebra, shoot your shot. Let's go, man. Stupid clips. <laughs>